So in today's video, I will be discussing CTC issues in Shannon's expansion theorem of digital logic circuit design. So aside from using such simple uh, inputs, it is possible to connect more complex circuits as input to a uh, multiplexer. So this allows the function to be synthesized using a combination of multiplexers and other logic gates. So Shannon expansion theorem is a way of decomposing functions in terms of the variables that are used as a select input. So that is according to uh, Claude Shannon in his uh, research. So any Boolean function uh, f with input uh, variables w1, w2, w3 up to wn can be written as a multiplexer. So this can be written in the form uh, f, w1, w2, w3 up to wn input is equals to w1 not and its cofactor f, a function f so 0, W2, W3 up to Wn plus W1 as a cofactor of 1, W2, W3 up to W. So to illustrate the use of Shannon expansion, so we can implement using the given function F is equal to W1 uh, bar, W3 bar plus W1, W2 plus W1, W3, using a 2 to 1 multiplexer. So by uh, Shannon uh, expansion theorem, so we write the given function as a multiplexer with select input W1. So that is F is equals to W1 bar um, 0, then W2, W3 plus W1 so that is and with its cofactor so 1 W2 W3 so that gives F is equals to so we write W1 bar so W1 W1 bar, W3 bar, so that gives us 1 times for that W3 bar plus, so that is W1, so we get 0 that W2 plus 0 that W3 plus, so W1 and that is W1 bar, so 0, that W3 bar, plus um, 1, that W2, plus 1, that W3. And that is equals to W1 bar, W3 bar, so that is 0, 0, plus W1, that is 0, W2, plus W3. So this is the result uh, using uh, Shannon expansion uh, theorem. And the resulting circuit would be, so we have W3, and that is in that, And we have W2, which is um, part with W3. So that is W3 plus W, uh, W2 plus W3. And that is the input to our 2 to 1 multiplexer with function F. So we have uh, W1 as the select input of our 2 to 1 multiplexer. And this is the uh, equivalent circuit 
of the given function. So we can also implement uh, the same function using a 4 to 1 uh, multiplexer. So for a 4 to 1 uh, multiplexer, so we need uh, to select input. And that is, so we have f is equals to w1, w2 as our select input. So that is w1 bar, w2 bar. Then add with its uh, cofactor f, so that is 0, 0, w3, plus w1 bar, w2, and that is 0, 1, w3, plus w1, w2 bar, and with its cofactor f, 1, 0, W3, plus W1, W2, and we just talk up for 1, 1, W3. And that is equivalent to W1 bar, W2 bar. So we have the given uh, function so for W1 bar, uh, W3 bar, so we have 1, that W3 bar, plus, so W1 is 0, that W2 0, plus W1 is 0, that W3. And that is plus, W1 bar, W2 times uh, W1 bar is 1, that W3 bar plus W1, W2, so that is 0, that 0 plus, so W1 and W3, so that is 0, that W3 plus W1, W2 bar and so we have uh, W1 bar, W3 bar so that would be a zero that W3 bar plus W1 is one that W2 is zero plus W1 is one that W3 plus W1, W2 times so that is 0, that W3 bar plus 1, W1 is 1, W2 is 1 plus W1 is 1, that W3. That is equivalent to W1 bar, W2 times, so 1 that W3 uh, bar is W3 bar. So this is 0, 0 plus W1 bar, W2. So we have here 1 that W3 bar is W3 bar. So that is 0 plus 0. So plus W1, W2 bar. So we have 0, that W3 bar is 0 plus 1, that 0 is 0. So 1, that W3 is W3. Plus W1, W2. So 0, that W3 bar is 0. 1, that 1 is 1 plus 1, that W3 is W3. So in simplifying uh, uh, this type of uh, expression, we also uh, need to use uh, bool some Boolean uh, expressions or Boolean uh, theorem. So for this type of term, so 1 plus W3 
uh, three. So we apply a single variable theorem. So according to a single variable theorem, so this expression is uh, equivalent to, so that is 1 plus x, and that would be equivalent to 1. So that is according to a single variable theorem. So our uh, final expression would be so w1 bar, w2, w3 bar, plus w1 bar, w2, w3 bar, plus w1, w2 bar, w3, plus w1, W2, and that is that the way uh, 1. And that is actually equivalent to, so this term would be um, 1. Or I mean, so that is W2, or W1, W2 with input 1. Okay? So the resulting uh, circuit would be, so we have 2W3, so that is input W3, so that is in that. So we have 2W3 that, so input to a 4 to 1, so W3 net, W3 net, so that is for W1 bar, W2, and for W1 bar, W2, so we have input W3 net, plus, so for input W1, W2, Bar. So input is W3. Then for W1, W2, so our input is simply a logic 1. And the two select input, so we use W1 and W2 of our 4 to 1. So that is uh, using 4 to 1 multiplexer.